morning, Dave and Patty. It's Steve, and this is 3908 East 33rd Avenue. Uh, this is on the South Hill. Uh, this is a different part of the South Hill, though, than we had looked at before. Um, so I just did a quick tour inside. Um, very cute inside, in really good shape for the most part. Um, the street is, is kind of unique on this part of the South Hill. Um, the streets uh, just north and south of us are older homes. Uh, this street actually looks like it's newer homes. So I will turn this around, show you the street, and then we'll take a walk inside. So for orientation, uh, we're looking straight at the house, which uh, faces north. Uh, so we're looking south right now, and we'll first look down the street, down 33rd, and we're looking to the east. And you can see, you can kind of see, I believe that's Moran Prairie down there. Um, I'll just kind of zoom in on that so you can kind of see kind of a cool view down there. Uh, I'll show you some of the homes as the neighbors. Um, they all look, you know, again, about the same era, late 90s uh, on this street, um, which is somewhat unique because you can see right down across um, Myrtle Street right there, there are definitely some older homes. Uh, but right here on this block, you definitely have some nicer, newer homes. And then we are now looking directly west. But let me turn you all the way around and let's walk inside and take a look. Actually, let me step back. One thing I did notice, the uh, concrete is a bit uneven right here. Um, that because slabs are kind of moving around. So um, there definitely seems like there's some movement right here. They are not even. Uh, you can kind of see right here, um, you know, the concrete is kind of pushed up and, pr and pulling apart. Um, and there are definitely cracks in here um, between the pads, not the pads themselves, but definitely something to consider. Um, the siding is hardy plank. It looks to be in really good shape as well. You have some gardening right up in here. Looks like we've got some rose bushes right along the walk and the garage. They're all trimmed back, which is nice. And then I'll just pan around the side while we're here. You can see there's the AC unit. There is the exhaust for the fireplace. And then that's your gate to your backyard for this house. Uh, roof looks like it's in really good shape. Uh, so no concerns at all there upon walking in. But let's go inside and take a look. So we have this nice red door. And so we come in and immediately you've got your uh, living room right here, uh, vaulted ceiling, so it gives you a little extra space. You do have that wall into the kitchen, uh, which we'll see in a second. I'll just pan back. So you've got a short flight of stairs up and down. So upstairs you've got the primary bedroom, uh, shared primary bath and a second bedroom. And then downstairs you've got another bedroom. Um, and a bathroom with your laundry and then a family room and then over here we go into the garage and you've got a closet so i'll show you that in a moment as well um, on this wall actually it looks like this is where they have the tv um, so not above the fireplace but they actually have all the cable management right in here so you've got your plugs up on top as far as um, your cable that goes into um, your provider be it satellite and then you've got some electric uh, outlets and then you've actually got a channel where you can put the cable down through the wall down there for your components. Got this cute little window seat in here. Got some nice plantation shutters on all the windows, which I love that effect. I used to have those in a house in California. Absolutely love those. Uh, really big mantle on that fireplace. The fireplace is a gas insert which is good you can actually see there's the gas key right there to turn it on and turn it off and then you have a lot of outlets all the way around too okay uh into we'll walk into the kitchen the dining room so this is the dining area right here uh really neat um light fixture right there you've got some really nice um accents on the wall too so it gives it a really nice upscale feel in this house Again, plantation shutters uh, towards the backyard. I'll show you that in a moment. And then here is the kitchen. Really nice cabinets. Uh, you've got newer stainless steel appliances, it looks like. And I have not tried them yet, but let's see if these are soft clothes. Uh, no, they're not. Uh, but we can look in here and actually they've hidden all the cards so you can see 
um, down in here. There have been a bunch of showings on this house. So definitely if this house um, is of interest, it is going to have to be over the list price. But regardless, um, you do have some nice, looks like quartz countertops all the way around. Really accents the white cabin as well. You've got a uh, cooktop. So you've got five elements up here. And then you've got the oven down here, which looks like it's in really good shape. And then we've got our microwave up on top. Refrigerator, it is a double door refrigerator. So I'll just open that up for you. Looks like definitely people have uh, left a few things in here, but this looks like it's in really good shape as well, which is good. Less things to worry about later, but we'll pan around and this is your sink. So it's a real deep sink right here. And then you're looking out into the backyard which is always nice. But let's just walk right upstairs and we'll go into the bedrooms. First, we'll take a look up to the right. You've got your primary bedroom, which is southern facing, a uh, good size room. You definitely get a king bed in here. Um, and again, you plantation shutters out the window. So that is your orientation uh, for where most likely you'd be putting your bed. Um, which would be the most functional use of this space. Uh, the flooring in here, it's all throughout the house. It's all um, really nice vinyl plank. Uh, looks to be in really good shape. The bedroom uh, closets in here, you've got uh, double closets. So there's no walk-in, but you do have double closets. And you can see you've got upper and lower shelves and bars on this one. And then this side, you just have the upper um, shelf and rod. And then in the bedroom itself, you do have the vanity. So you've got your single sink in here, uh, with your accent lighting. And then into here, you have a pocket door into the toilet and the shower tub combo. And then you have another vanity. So you do have Two vanities for this bathroom. One is actually in the bedroom, the other one in the bathroom. Um, but for orientation, I'll walk you back through the bedroom and then out the hall because I don't want to walk out the bathroom so you can kind of see how this floor lays out. So now we're at the top of the stairs looking down towards the living room. And then you've got your door into your shared bathroom up here, which this is your primary bath. And then you've got your secondary bedroom up here as well. Um, this one, it's, it's not really big. Uh, it is bigger than the one downstairs though. So again, plantation shutters. I'll just kind of walk in and then pan back for you. You've got a standard closet in there with a, with a pull-out door. And then you've got this little bump-out area too. So uh, you certainly could put some... Uh, more things in there. If you want to put shelves, you want to put a small TV, you certainly could as well. And then you do have a linen closet, which I'll pull that open for you on this floor as well. Okay. So let us just walk downstairs, short flight, take a right turn, another short flight into the lower level. So now over here, we've got our third bedroom. Uh, this is a really small bedroom. This, uh, I would say this is more office size than bedroom size. So I'll just walk around and show you this. You can see you've got kind of a half closet there. And then you do have a little shelf. Uh, it's kind of hard to see with it's uh, white on white, uh, but you do have this little shelf that runs around here. So let me kind of go like that and show you so you can kind of get a sense of that. And right across the hall from this, we've got our furnace and our water heater. Uh, these look like they're probably original with the house. So I'm guessing about 20 years or about 18 years old, I think the house is. So um, we do have our bathroom. We'll stop um, there in a second. And then you've got your family room downstairs. You can see they've got it set up uh, with some speakers mounted in the wall. Um, we are above grade here, believe it or not. Um, and you've got this nice big window looking into the backyard. 
and plantation shutters once again. And then you've got that little uh, shelving all the way um, around uh, the back wall and then the southern wall to the backyard. And I'm just standing right in the back of the room. So you can imagine if uh, you had this as a theater, uh, this is about the view you'd have. And then we'll come back over here and right around the corner, this is your uh, three quarter bath and laundry combo downstairs. So we do have a shower down here. So if you have guests who are staying in this basement uh, or lower level bedroom, they've got their own shower and bathroom here. Uh, this is your laundry <coughs> hookups, excuse me. You've got some cabinets up on top um, and then your toilet and your single sink and mirror. And then across the hall here, we've got a little extra storage area underneath the stairs. So we'll just go right upstairs. And since there are not many steps in this house, we'll just do it as a one shot and take you out into the garage. Uh, this is entry right, uh, right off the house or into the house. So you can see um, it is a two car garage. You do have a little room on the sides for additional storage. There is a rack of hooks over there as well. Uh, there is an opener too. And then we will continue and go into the backyard. Actually just noticed one more thing in the kitchen before we head out. Um, there is a skylight and there are even plantation shutters on there, uh, which actually that is a really cool feature. I have not seen that before and I love that. Uh, so we'll come on to the deck. The deck is covered. As you can see, um, some of the, um, the texture has come off this. So this certainly could be refinished in some spots. It's, it's pretty worn. Um, and then you can see the backyard is completely fenced. So you've got a wood fence all the way around. Um, you do have, um, landscaping. So you've got rock and plants around. You've also got your curbing in here as well. So nice little yard. Um, not too big, but you do definitely have a yard. Uh, looks like there's a little Japanese maple in the corner as well. Um, and then we'll step down here and turn back and look at the house. So the house um, itself looks like it's in really good shape. Um, I have no concerns about the house. Um, this deck though, um, as you can see from up above, you know, they definitely, it looks like now that I'm down here, they must have had a rug down there and then the moisture just uh, pulled that texturing off. But you can see down here, um, you definitely do need some painting touch-ups here. Um, it looks like it's exposed and it's going to start uh, deteriorating if you don't finish that again and cover it. And then up here as well. So definitely um, this could be uh, resealed. Looks like we've got a... Uh, privacy shade right here as well on the west side and also for sun, which is good. Um, and the nice thing is, is there are not any real big um, pine trees that are actually in this yard or close enough in this yard that can actually come down and cause a problem, uh, which is really nice up here because we do get the wind storms. So you do have to consider that um, because it does happen from time to time. So. So that is our tour. Um, there's not a lot of space in this house, honestly. Um, it, it, it doesn't have a real big feel compared to some of the other houses that we looked at that you like a little bit more space. It is three levels as well, so it is broken up. Um, the stairs uh, are not terribly long, but they are three levels, so there will be up and down consistently. Um, and then your laundry is downstairs with your primary being uh, two short flights up. So if you have any questions, let me know. Um, if you want another tour or you want to see anything else, I'm here for you. Just let me know. You guys have a great day and we'll talk soon. Take care.